She didn't break one bone. You don't have a scratch on you. Fresh out of the success of Sixth Sense, M. Night Shyamalan brought a unique story which was one part fantastic and one part an examination of his real fascination with comic books. At the time, superhero movies were just starting to explore beyond Superman and Batman, bringing the X-Men, Blade, and Spider-Man into the movie era and out of the comic book era. But Unbreakable is unique in its approach, where in the other films, the characters I mentioned were established. Unbreakable presents an original story story with an unknown hero. But is the movie any good? Let's find out. I'm Mephisto, like, share, and subscribe because this is my review of the movie, Unbreakable. Countries all over the world still pass on knowledge through pictorial forms. I believe comics are a form of history that someone somewhere felt or experienced. Unbreakable begins with David Dunn boarding a train to go to a failed job interview. The train suffers a horrific accident which kills a lot of people. But David awakes in the hospital and has no significant injuries. In fact, David has no injuries whatsoever. He receives a message from a strange individual called Elijah Prince telling him that he is special. Dunn meets with this individual and learns, according to Elijah, that there are some people out there that have seemingly extra abilities, extra powers, and they are positioned in a way to help other people. If there is someone like me in the world, and I'm at one end of the spectrum, couldn't there be someone else the opposite of me at the other end? Dunn dismisses this notion and goes on with his life, but certain things begin to click with him that might change his mind and make him start believing Elijah and believing in himself. How'd you know that guy you bumped was carrying a weapon? I don't know. M. Night Shyamalan is an avid comic book fan, and in Unbreakable, he actually breaks down to components, pun intended, of what it's like to really become a hero if heroes really exist in the real world. And I don't mean the police and the firefighter, they're heroes on their own category. But as opposed to other superheroes of its day, you won't see any costumes, CGI monsters, or crazy over-the-top villains. Unbreakable's approach to telling a story is much more realistic approach to the fantastical story that we know and love. What M. Night manages to do is to have all these elements of a comic book origin story without actually having to point out this is an origin story. But as the movie unfolds, we realize, along with Don and Elijah, the potential of a guy who is unassumingly a hero. How much did you put on that time? All of it. What else can we use? I always thought that Bruce Willis was such a great cast for this particular role. Unlike John McClane, where he's a wisecracking super cop, David Dunn is a much more quiet and brooding character. He is a blue collared worker working at stadium security, trying to get ahead in life, but doesn't really have that motivation. He has his issues with his wife and trying to sort them out, and he is devoted to his son. Willis manages through portraying a beat down man who doesn't believe in himself to turn things around and to accept help from his son to realize himself as a hero. We can both get hurt. I'm just an ordinary man. No, you're not. The big driving force of the story is actually Samuel L. Jackson's character, Elijah Prince. It is through his eyes we see David Dunn even before he fully manifests himself. Elijah owns an art dealership specifically selling comic book art of the highest value. It is he who has been obsessing over comic books his whole life because of a disability. This leads him on this journey of finding out if there are real superheroes out there in the world. And that leads him to seek out David Dunn, a man who survived a train wreck with zero injuries. This obsession drove Elijah to the extreme and helped him get to his discovery. Jackson in this role personifies the comic book nerd who is in today's terms might be called on the spectrum but even a few years back, it would have been just a comic book nerd. A nerd among other nerds. And one of us has made a gross error and wasted the other person's valuable time. This is an art gallery, my friend. To me, the character of Elijah has always been M. Night Shyamalan himself, or at least a part of him. And David Dunn was the hero M. Night wanted to be. Something that a lot of avid comic book readers experience. Lots of kids grew up with Superman, Batman, and Spider-Man, 
and envisioned themselves as those heroes and wanted to fight the injustice in the world and basically the bad guys. I highly recommend you watch this film. But if you're a comic book guy or just a huge fan of superhero movies and you haven't watched this film, this should be a treat. A true examination of what it would be like if superheroes walked among us, serving the public and fighting to protect the innocent. For me, this is the best comic book movie of all time. Yes, others may be flashier, others may be more grandiose in scale, others just out there saving the galaxy or the universe or whatever. But as for a movie that captures the true essence of the love of the superhero genre in comic books, you can't get any better than Unbreakable. Then one day I saw a news story about a train accident and I heard them. There is a sole survivor and he is miraculously unharmed. I thank you for watching and remember, hope is a good thing, maybe even the best of things, and no good thing ever dies. I'll see you on the next video.